Info Factory Track for CSI Kanban Configuration Kanban systems support the replenishment of materials to a work area based on a just-in-time production model by determining cycles for replenishment requirements. Factory Track supports the setup of Kanban through configurations on several forms. These include the Kanban Warehouses form to specify which CSI warehouses will support Kanban processing and define the staging location for Kanban replenishment. The Kanban Locations form to identify which factory track specific location will maintain Kanban bins or racks. The Kanban Items form to identify which CSI items will be available for Kanban processing. The Kanban Item Locations form marries three configurations of warehouses, locations and items to support the generation and maintenance of the Kanbans. Once these have been configured, please refer to the Kanban Usability Trainings to review the Kanban operations that can be performed through Factory Track Shop Floor and Warehouse Mobility. To create a Kanban warehouse that supports Kanban items, open the Kanban Warehouse form. Click on the New button. Enter or select from the drop-down the CSI warehouse that will support Kanban processing. Factory Track then populates the warehouse description. Enter or select from drop-down the CSI staging location ID. Factory Track then populates the staging location description where Kanban replenishment items from inventory will be staged before being moved to the Kanban location. Select the Allow Quantity Change checkbox to allow users to change the replenishment quantity from the default quantity for a Kanban using the Kanban Item Locations form. Select the Active checkbox to use this warehouse for Kanban replenishment requests. Clear the checkbox to prevent replenishment requests being made for Kanban items located in this warehouse. Then click on the Save button. To create a Kanban location in which Kanban items would be used, open the Kanban Locations form. Click the New button, enter a Kanban location ID or name, enter a description, and enter or select from drop down the CSA lo location ID that contains the Kanban location. This drop down includes all work centers defined in the CSI ERP. Factory Track then displays the CSI location description. Click on the Save button. To designate an item from your CSI ERP system to be used as a Kanban item, open the Kanban Items form. Click on the New button. Enter or select from a drop-down the item ID. Note that this supports a wildcard or asterisk to reduce the drop-down item's return for selection. Factory Track then displays the associated item description and the unit of measure associated with the selected item. Enter the Kanban quantity of items that will be used as the default replenishment quantity for Kanbans created for this item. And select from the drop down the replenishment source for the Kanban. The options are Inventory, JIT Production, Purchase Order or Transfer Order. Indicate whether to allow this Kanban to be replenished by selecting the active checkbox. Clear this checkbox to prevent replenishment requests being made for this Kanban. Click on the Save button. Kanban items can be set up for replenishment at multiple locations, so it is necessary to define a Kanban item location record for each replenishment. Open the Kanban item locations form and click the New button. Enter or select from drop down the Kanban item. Once selected, the description, the default Kanban quantity and the unit measure associated with the Kanban item are displayed. Enter or select from drop down the warehouse ID. Once selected, the warehouse description is displayed. Enter or select from drop down the Kanban location ID. Once selected the location description, work center location, the work center and description are displayed. If configured to allow quantity change on the Kanban warehouse form, update the quantity if required. Specify the maximum number of Kanbans to be designated for this item. Set the order trigger point, which defaults to one. This determines how many requests need to be triggered before an order is created. Specify the Kanban source to support the replenishment process. The options are Inventory, JIT Production, Purchase Order or Transfer Order. For this example, Inventory is selected, so no additional field details are required. To get the option to generate the Kanbans, you must select the Active checkbox and click on the Save button. Click on the Generate Kanban buttons that become enabled. The generated Kanbans will then display and the number created are based on the value provided by the maximum number of Kanban entry. 
For Kanban items where the Kanban source is JIT production, the process is the same with the exception that a JIT staging location is required for entry or selection by dropdown. This is the location where the JIT Kanban items will be kept until ready to be moved to the Kanban location. For Kanban items where the Kanban source is purchase order, the process is the same with the exception that it is necessary to define from whom and against which purchase order line the Kanban item is to be ordered to support the replenishment requirements. Enter or select from drop down the vendor ID that is contracted to provide these items. Enter or select from drop down the line number of the purchase order against which the releases would be created. Note this field is displayed only for blanket type purchase orders. Make sure to flag it as active to maintain inventory or to raise requests for replenishment. For Kanban items where the Kanban source is transfer order, the process is the same with the exception that it's necessary to define from where and against which transfer order the Kanban item will be transferred. Enter or select from drop down the from site ID that will be fulfilling the replenish request. Enter or select from the drop down the warehouse ID from which the items will be transferred. And enter or select from drop down the transfer order against which the Kanban items will be tracked.